And we continue our conversation with State Representative David Steffen, turning now to uh, interesting developments this very week down in Madison. We've got a Republican-controlled legislature. Governor Evers calling a special session to introduce two pieces of uh, gun control legislation. Mm -hmm. And those two bills, as we expected, were essentially ignored by, by the Republicans. And they introduced their own, their own legislation. Mm -hmm. Do you think we're ever going to come to any kind of an agreement on, on gun legislation? Or, or are we just at loggerheads? Is just, this just a chess match or, or even to a point of being a war? Well, I hope it's not a war. Yeah. Uh, I have spent my political career trying to find compromise. Uh, I think you can compromise without compromising your principles. And there's a way forward on this issue and this type of legislation. Uh, there are some guardrails that are to it, uh, at least for myself and I know many of my colleagues. It can't violate the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. and it also can't violate due process. Beyond that, let's talk about everything else. And so there are opportunities to come together uh, to find some ways. And in fact, I'm working with my colleagues, and hopefully we're going to have some new legislation that's coming out that relates to gun violence. But again, it's, it's going to be within the, the parameters of not jeopardizing people's constitutional rights. And uh, there are ways that we can do some positive things to, to address issues relating to gun violence without um, without going in that direction. Were you surprised when the governor showed up in chamber to listen to the debate? A little that bit. That had never been done before. I, I, I tell you what, um, it, it did take me, uh, you know, first of all, you can watch it from or listen to it anywhere in the Capitol. So he was obviously making a point that this was important to him, and I, and I respect that. Um, and it's important to all of us as well. And, uh, you know, there's more than one way to address some of these challenges, all challenges that we have in our state. We have a different perspective as Republicans and I myself, and, and so there is a way forward. We can do things that can move the ball to make this a, a safer place and address gun violence, uh, especially in places like Milwaukee and Madison where we've seen such increased gun violence in those communities. And, uh, but the two proposals that related to the, to the uh, special session, the extraordinary session, those just were beyond the pale for us, and so uh, we're going to come back and find something that's a little closer to our principles. What we saw this week in Madison uh, that you were a part of, is that a mirror of what's going on on the national scale? It sure is. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I have to tell you, sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's depressing that, that some things have devolved, uh, but I can tell you for myself, what I try to do every day is try to find members in, on the other side of the aisle, policies that are from the other side of the aisle, and try to find my own way forward with, with those individuals and with those policies to, to at least maybe be part of the light forward. Um, I'm really trying to avoid getting pulled into some of these really unproductive political grandstanding or political debates. Uh, I think it's the only way that we survive as a community, as a democracy, is if we can start working together a little more. So. Once you were at loggerheads this week, yeah. and the session ended on Thursday, and everybody goes home. After the session ended, do you talk to your counterparts on, on the other side of the aisle? What's that conversation like? So here's what many people would be surprised, is there is, believe it or not, theater involved in politics. And so uh, it is not uncommon for there to be very spirited pounding of fists on desks, raising the hand, raising the voice, and then we might actually go and have a beer together after. And so that sort of thing does happen, um, not all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these issues become way too personal uh, and they can't be done. But uh, I have found that some of the people who are the most uh, strident on the other side are more than uh, interested in, in being cordial and personal with me outside of that uh, arena. So there is a way. There is. Yeah. But you've got to work at it. It's like any relationship. You have to work at it and be committed to it. Let me switch to the uh, legalization of marijuana. Mm. In Michigan, Illinois, they both passed it. Democrats in Madison supporting it. Uh, do you see it becoming legal anytime soon? I think there may be a pathway forward with medical marijuana. Okay. That's a possibility. It would be in a limited format. I could see that actually coming forward as a, uh, at least being vetted as a proposal. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't have a philosophical issue with that. But law enforcement, doctors, the medical community, the psychiatric community, all of them are against it becoming legal in the state of Wisconsin. And what I've told my friends uh, and those on the other side of this issue, 
who said, hey, legalize uh, recreational marijuana. I said, okay, get at least a couple of those groups. Get the law enforcement to say, yeah, we're okay with it. Get doctors to say, yeah, we're okay with it. Or the psychologists and psychiatrists. Get them to say, yeah, we're okay with it. And the reality is that the medical community and law enforcement continue to say, this is bad for our state. And I'm not in that field. I have to respect those experts. And so it's very difficult for me to say that's the way we should go. All right. We continue on with Representative David Steffen right after this. Much more to come. Stay with us.